Welcome to the Garage Engineer. Today we're going to talk about toolboxes. I wanted to show what my everyday carry toolbox is. This is for something that I would use around the house or putting together furniture. Uh, something that is not my full extensive shop tools. Something that was easy to carry around and had everything I need for doing those repairs. Now what I liked about my first toolbox, this was I got back in the early, but the late 70s. Uh, this was given to my parents. It had very simple tools in it. It got a hammer, Phillips head, flathead screwdriver, pliers, and that's basically what I had for the longest time. I like the compact size of the toolbox, uh, but it's made of metal, so it's hard to put down uh, the box, any metal box, on a finished surface because you're worried about scratching it. But it was the right size and it served its purpose. Then later as my tool stash grew, I got bigger toolboxes, which is some, something like the Craftsman Toolbox. It's again metal, and later on they made it to a plastic version of it. But uh, it carried a lot of tools, but as you started putting more and more tools in there, it got heavier and heavier. And that's just something that uh, you wouldn't want to carry around in small places like around the house. And, then, and especially having to put it down again, you got the problem with the uh, rough bottom. And even with the plastic toolboxes, uh, they become, can become rough and dirty and then transfer that to your finished floor, carpet, hardwoods. And just for show, I wanted to show you this toolbox that I got uh, at an estate sale this summer. It, it's actually pretty neat the way uh, it's laid out. As, as you open it, it has two side uh, trays that fold out, and I always thought that was kind of neat. Uh, so I got that to restore. And that, that might be a future video of uh, us restoring it and going delving more into it. But this is definitely an older 50s, 60s. Uh, maybe even earlier toolbox, uh, but I think it was kind of cool. But it is metal, so it's very heavy without tools in it. And then when you start putting tools in it, it gets even heavier. So it's not something uh, that you could easily carry around. So an everyday toolbox, I consider it needs to be light, have at least the basics that you need to do your repairs, and uh, and when you can put it down without having to worry about scratching the floor or, or surface, countertop, or anything like that. And that brings us to my current day EDC small home shop tool bag. But let's take a look inside. This is my everyday carry small toolbox. It's made of a military grade nylon pouch. And this pouch is actually called an admin chest mount. So basically what it does, what it's made for is to be mounted on the chest and then it folds down so that uh, a lieutenant or someone can read a map or uh, do paperwork. Uh, in the field, but we're re we're modifying it to be used as a tool carrier. It's about 11 inches wide, 7 inches tall, and 4 inches deep, which is what I really like about the compact size. It's just right, not too big, and it's not too small, and it, c it fits everything, uh, all the tools that I need easily inside. So let's open it up and take a look. So the front pouch is what I consider the tools that I use most often and the back pouch is the tools that depending on the job uh, are some of the tools that I need. So we'll, we'll start with the front first. We have a 6-in-1 screwdriver, basically Phillips and flathead any size that you might need for bigger projects. Um, I like it. It's compact. You don't have a lot of bits that you have to worry about little bits falling out and it's hard to hold. Uh, so you got these longer tips that you can just stick in, in and out. In and out. Uh, this is Work Pro, so it's a nice non-name brand uh, product. And, and here is the matching uh, precision screwdriver. So the exact same thing. It's got uh, Phillips and flathead screwdrivers, but they are on the smaller set. And what I like about the smaller Phillips is that it can get into those uh, kid toys um, or other product electronics that have the screw safety screw on it and you, to get to the battery. And these get a lot uh, better bite onto the screw than trying to use the bigger screwdriver even with the smallest bit. So I like to have two of them. Uh, I've got two sets of pliers. Really, you only need one, but I like to have two for a specific reason. Now, this is both the Irwin uh, vice grips. Um, these are the push button adjustable 
So you can move it to, I usually open it all the way up and then squeeze it to the tightness that I need. Now this one is called like the pipe wrench because it, the way it has the teeth inside the pliers that grips on to whatever you need. But the reason I carry, so this was really all you need and actually uh, Nipex, which is another brand that I like, has one that's just a little bit more, it's probably about $25 that uh, is typically the industry standard but for something that I don't use every day these work just fine and they're priced just right. Now this would work pretty much on everything but with the teeth the way they grip if you're using nuts and uh, you don't want to leave a mark then uh, these aren't the pliers that you need. That's why I have the secondary pair of pliers and these are the same Irwin and they work the same way with a push button and adjustable but they have flat jaws so that uh, you can get it around the nuts and the uh, it won't leave a mark and it's I like to use this a lot on items especially if you're doing it inside the house that you don't want to leave a mark these are great you don't need adjustable wrenches uh, this is takes the place of it and if you need to hold on to a nut while you're using the screwdriver these work great too I usually carry a knife on me the Leatherman Skeletool, usually I keep it sharp so I don't really need a knife but just in case I don't have one handy I keep a little, uh, these are the what 8 millimeter uh, razor blades that you can break the tips off to get another sharp edge so uh, I like to keep that in there and always need tape measure around the house someone's uh, needing something measured uh, trying to install a picture frame lay out a room and uh, installing blinds uh, it's good to have this tape measure this is about a nine foot I usually prefer maybe a 10 or a 12 but the reason I have this one is because it has no clip on the back uh, so it stays nice and flat um, and it's compact that you can put it in your pocket and it doesn't really scratch your leg while it's in your pocket so that's why for this purpose I'm keeping this craftsman nine foot tape measure now I've got one more item up front here but I'm going to say that to the end because this is the uh, uh, what centers around the entire tool pouch but it's also my favorite tool too so we're going to save that just for a second and let's go back uh, into the back part and just see the extra items that I carry so the back section is where I keep the items that I don't use as often as the front part but uh, I definitely need them when doing different jobs. Definitely headlamp. I found this headlamp. You actually get uh, two for like $16 from Amazon. And I'll have a list of all these items in the description below if you're interested in looking more about, uh, finding more about them. Or if you're interested in purchasing them yourself. Uh, there's, there's some great links in there. But these come two to a pack. They're USB rechargeable batteries, so you don't have to worry about losing batteries. If you lose the headlamp, you've got another one to spare. So that's what, and there is really bright. There's five different settings, and I, I like the brightness of it. I keep a cheap multimeter. These are the old Harbor Freight multimeters that you would get free with your purchase. We're not building rockets here. We just want to know does it have voltage? How much voltage is coming to it? Is there continuity? So that's why I keep this in here. Um, just for that reason. So it doesn't need to have be very precise, it just needs to get, get you in the ballpark of what's going on when you're doing electronics. Uh, I've got my favorite pen. This is the Papermate Flare Medium Black. I use this every day, everywhere. I love the feel of it. Use it for sketching, writing, anything like that. It's one of the, uh, something I keep in my pocket also. You need a notepad. Uh, this is a all-weather notepad and it works better with pencils it doesn't the FLIR pen doesn't work right as well on this paper but just some type of paper to write notes because you gotta write measurements or something down so I always keep a pad of paper around for that use a lighter to whip the end of the rope or if I needed to uh, glue two things together temporarily or semi-permanent uh, I keep a hot glue stick in my bag and then I just light it up with the lighter until it gets soft and then I, then I just push it on without having to carry a glue gun around. Uh, this has saved me a couple times, especially if I want to put two things together temporarily until I can screw it together. It's been very helpful. And I got this cheap level. It came with a TV mount that I got. Uh, it's not precise but it'll get, it'll get you level at least uh, eyeball wise. Um, if, you need, if I needed a longer uh, precision level then I could get one from the shop but just if you wanted to eyeball something just quickly put it up a towel rack or something like that this uh, fits just perfectly in the bag 
Two things I like to carry is tape. We've got duct tape. What I usually like to do is uh, when I get close to the end of the roll, I stop using it and then I put it, transfer it into this bag because I like to just have a little bit. Uh, I don't need to carry a whole roll around with me and I can flatten the roll down to a smaller size. So I keep that in here. And I've got a pair of gloves if you're doing something that need to uh, protect your hands. And on the other side, I keep just a little bit of electrical tape wrapped around a socket. Now I could carry around a whole roll of tape, but it would last forever and it might go bad, dry up before uh, I actually use it. And usually on repair jobs, I just need a little bit. If I'm getting to a job where I'm having a, to do a lot of electrical work and need a lot of tape, then I'll go to the shop and get it. But this is, remember, this is just for, not emergencies, but just for quick repairs. So I don't have to walk all the way down to my shop to get the tool, come back. I want it all in one central location. And then a little bit of 550 cord. Now, if you notice throughout the entire toolkit, these items aren't the uh, most expensive. Uh, these are good quality, so I'm not going to say they're the cheapest. Uh, but this isn't something I might have in the shop that I use every day, except some of these I do have in my shop. But there's one item that uh, I did splurge a little bit that for this pack is really needed. This is the one. This is the Wera Toolcheck Plus. It's a little bit more money, but it's very compact and it's something that can be used on a variety of projects without having to carry big blow mold cases of tools. This is actually a little pocket size toolkit that you can even put in your pocket to carry around in your back pocket if you needed it. What it does, it has a little driver handle which comes with a bunch, any type of bit that you would need. That's why in the other screwdriver here, you don't need to have 12 different bits uh, to use in it because this kit right here has, has everything you need. Star bits, square bits, Phillips, flat. Uh, it's got some for metal use, some for wood use, everything that you might need. So if you need a specialty uh, bit, I come to this kit. But also what's neat about it, is it comes with a quarter inch ratchet so when you're putting a like a bed together from Ikea or you wanted to ratchet uh, something um, you needed a bolt to take off then you've got it right here you don't if you're gonna do a lot of work for a long time then I wouldn't use this because of just the size uh, it's it wouldn't be as comfortable to using it every day but for repairs uh, small compact emergency type use this is perfect. It also comes with an extension driver. So if, instead of using the screwdriver, you wanted to use the extension, then you can either put this into the driver. It's a quick release um, bit holder, or you can put it into your driver and then use it to uh, quickly take turn it, take off things. But instead of using the driver, you can use the wrench. And then it comes with this is a metric. Now they they do sell this set into two in, imperial metric. But most of the items that I use, uh, come across, are metric. So you get uh, a few sockets coming from 5.5 millimeter all the way up to 13. Um, and these are pretty much the standard sizes that I use. They're actually kind of neat. They're color coded for the wear system. So if you can memorize the color with the size it, throughout their entire system, they're all the same. That's kind of neat. I don't use it as often, as, uh, but it's good to have all the metric sizes that I need. So with this toolkit, I can do probably about 90%, maybe 95% of all the repairs, installations around the house. And the convenience of having it nearby and not having to go all the way to the shop to get this, that, this tool or that tool and then realizing, oh, I need another tool that's in the shop and having to make multiple trips, having this kit ready to go saves me a lot of time. Um, I can even put it in my vehicle uh, if I ever needed to go on a long trip and this would do pretty much majority of any repairs that I might need. Again, this is not to replace a shop. Um, I wouldn't want to use these tools, some of them, all day long. If I'm doing a job, I, I want to have the proper job, proper size wrenches and different items like that. But for everyday repair toolkit, uh, this works perfect. And also you can put it down anywhere and I don't have to worry about it scratching or damaging countertops or floors. So that's why I like that. That's why I've gone to a cloth uh, bag like this. So you tell me what your everyday toolbox carry is down in the comments below. Appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time. And if you'd like to see more videos like the one that you just saw, you can check here, 
and here. And remember the ABCs of making. Always be creating. Till next time.